All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about audio devices connected to our Android device and getting those to show using our custom app. What I have here is a component and I wanna go ahead and talk about a little issue I'm having as well. I have a JBL Flip right here in my hand. Of course, you can't see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to my device. So you heard that tone and it is connected to my device. However, it is not updating here. This is on my custom live wallpaper. However, if I head into the advanced editor, you can see that it does say Flipcraft. That's the name of my JBL Flip. And if I go back to the home screen, it is updated. But the issue I'm having is it will not update unless I open the custom app or I could do one other thing. I have an LG Bluetooth headset as well. I'm going to go ahead and connect it. And through the headset, it just said that it was connected, but it's not updating here on my custom live wallpaper. So the other approach to make it show up up here, I can power off my screen. I'm going to unlock my device and now you can see it. It says LG and that's the model or whatever and also it shows the battery percentage. This particular headset does display the battery percentage left whereas this JBL Flip it does not show the battery percentage. So it does work but the issue I'm having again is that it does not update dynamically. I either have to open the custom app or power off my screen and power it back up. So here's what I would like you to do. Go to my free components folder, look for audio devices connected, and see what it does for you when you connect or disconnect one of your devices. Speaking of disconnecting, let me disconnect my JBL Flip. So you did hear it power off, but notice it's not gone away from up here. So again, two options, we can power off our screen or we can load up the custom app. Notice that it has been removed inside of the advanced editor. And if I go back to the home screen, it's removed there as well. So maybe this is a bug, I don't know, maybe it's just my phone. I did try restarting my device. Give it a shot, leave a comment below of your experience with this, and maybe we can figure out a solution here. And that's it for this video. I look forward to your help. 